Booger snot. <laughs> Works. Yay. Welcome to the Daily Drinkers podcast, everybody. I don't have a magical tan. It's just the great lighting. My name is Rocky. Tonight I am drinking Topo Chico. <laughs> Hard seltzer. Sounds delicious. It's funny that when you look away, your tan goes away and you go back to being white. <laughs> yeah, your neck is Noted. is oddly lighter lighter colored than your face. <laughs> We're just going to stay like this. I'm going to stay like this entire... Put the drink up in front of you again. Like, show the drink. Now look. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, you see the light going. You can see it fading. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, I'm Marbles, and as you can probably guess, I have another Guinness. Oh, but, fucker! But I also have some White Claw Surge. Ooh. Surge. Yeah, which is uh, it's like a higher alcohol content. It's eight eight percent alcohol instead of the whatever, 5 or 4.5, whatever the regular White Claw is. I'm Dink. I am drinking an assortment of Trulies tonight. Thanks to my mother. What kind I of five, Trulies? Uh, regular Trulies? Lemonade Trulies? I, citrus this, Fruit Punch? I don't have regular. This one is a Tropical Punch. Oh, uh, the Punch ones. Those are good. And then... I have a citrus and and a normal lemonade. Ah, I think the lemonades are my favorite. And you have an assortment of baby toys behind you. No, it's just one baby toy. It's a bouncer. Ah, interesting. She wanted to be in it today. Hmm. So I just oh. played Xbox as she bounced for like an hour. <laughs> I thought you meant she wanted to be in the podcast today. And I was like, well, good for her. Already aiming high. Yeah, she's in bed. And the other one just should be going to sleep any second now. Playing on his uh, YouTube. Yeah. His YouTube. So, uh, apparently, I left some Trulies at my mother's house last time we were there. And when she came. She brought that. She brought the three with her. <laughs> you know, here, you, here you go, my alcoholic son. Here's, here's the Trulies you forgot. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a sad week this week. Like it has been, yeah. Thing. Thank you. Yeah, you could say that. You come say hi? Why? I you look terrible all the time. It's fine. Exactly. Thanks for having you. Come say hi. Love you, Kelly. We gotta have some type of female presence in it every once in a while. Hello. Hi. So, so awesome of you to yeah, join. Yeah, she's fun. <laughs> we need her to capture the female viewers that we don't yeah. have yet. We need to spread this light into like everyday life because this tan is amazing. I'm impressed. It is. It is like a perfectly like, like even tan. I'm like I'm busy checking myself out right now. And then I'm just white. Even my facial hair looks darker. It's crazy. What light is it? Just the ring light you normally have? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that one's. Ugh. Turn it off real quick. <laughs> so that's like the weird the white, light. white light. And then the greatest light. Oh, wow. That takes a second. Then it just like the color comes in. It just enhances. It's like, <laughs> hey, what's up? I am also having Starburst jelly beans on the side. I, I have some snacks. Seize Candy Orange Crisp. And. I don't think I've ever had those. Some Toffee Eds. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean. 
Let's see here. Because I'm playing, I mean, Marvel's you're playing a computer, guys. But I have a long way to walk if I want to go get food. So, <laughs> wild berry pop tart. Ooh, those are my favorite as a kid. Sun, sun chips. Harvest sun, sun, sun chips. Bomb. Yeah. Cheese its. Ah, pepper jack cheese its. And then last, that would be bad. Chocolate chip chips ahoy. Those the chewy ones or like the no the hard ones. Hard ones. I usually keep those down here because he eats one when he comes says bye. He'll grab one and go. <laughs> Sometimes his, it scares me how alike we actually are in real life too, because <laughs> I have a box of Cheez Its. I do too. Right now. And I usually have some kind of chocolate chip cookie nearby as well. Currently, we got Oreos, the Halloween Oreos. So apparently, my friend isn't not my friend. I guess she might be my friend. I don't know. I consider her friend. She doesn't consider her friend probably. Cousin. But she's a step, or not a step cousin, cousin-in-law. <laughs> step cousin. <laughs> step cousin. Uh, Sounds like a great she, Alabama story. She is in Utah right now, doing a world championship for Iron Man. That's so. So not she looks at, I would do. <laughs> she looks at Kelly and I and is like, ugh. Uh, <laughs> Just like, uh, you guys desk, are fat. Uh. Just junk food everywhere and alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even drink. She doesn't even drink coffee. She drinks mushroom coffee. Oh God! What the hell is mushroom coffee? <laughs> oh, now I gotta she's, Google this. Thank God she's finally eating red meat, though. Actually, she, yes, she is. No. Yes, she is. After she broke up with her last boyfriend, she stopped. She eats red meat with this dude. Oh, really? That yeah. sounds like a reason before, to eat red she meat. Was like, she was like, I don't know, it was bad. Like, it was hard to get food for her. But, yeah, she's in like, world championship right now for Iron Man, which I think is impressive. This mushroom coffee makes me want to poop just looking at the picture. Do what? <laughs> Is it? Do they put those like psychedelic mushrooms in there to spike it, give it some, give it some kick? No, it, it looks like just like regular cooking mushrooms, and then a cup of hot chocolate with a spoon next to it. And I want to poop now. <laughs> <laughs> like mushrooms are already gross enough. And then you're gonna put them in coffee. Are these? Uh, are these? Like, I don't know, they're just packets. Well, Kelly just ruined my day tomorrow. Thanks, Kelly. I don't know. I thought they had, like, Keurig cups of mushroom coffee. So now, they do have Keurig cups of mushroom coffee. And Could... guess what I'm going to do all day tomorrow? Learn all about mushroom coffee. Have you ever had, like, uh, butter coffee? Like, no. black coffee with butter in it? Um... It's like part of like the I think it's the like keto a, diet? yeah, but it's made with yeah. butter. Uh, it's essentially black coffee, and you get like a <laughs> half a stick of butter and you put it in there. <laughs> yeah. Butter coffee versus bulletproof coffee. Yeah, butter coffee is just brewed coffee, unsalted butter, and uh, medium chain triglycerides. Glycerides, an easily digested type of fat. Yeah, the keto diet's wild. You have butter with everything, butter or cream. It's or... fat. You just have to have fat, lots and lots of fat. Um, so that way your body goes into ketosis and burns fat instead of carbohydrates. Mm. I was like, no bread, no, not me. Yeah, you basically out. cut out carbs and replace it with fat. No bread, no sugar. Um, Pass me that donut, sir. Yeah, I, I feel like unless you're unless you're uh, able to burn through that fat quick enough, 
yeah, yeah, you'll lose weight because you're burning fat, but then like your arteries are gonna get clogged anyways <laughs> from eating so much fat. My coworker did it in two months, lost sixty pounds. Yeah, you could do that, but what does that do to you to like your heart? Well, it's also know. as Eating. soon as you stop doing the keto diet, it all comes mm. back. Yeah. It's so fast. Yeah, because your body goes doesn't know what to do with it. <clears throat> and if you start eating carbs, it's like, what is this? And then it starts storing it. So I like how he's going to get on tomorrow because he's not going to play it all this weekend. Is he going to be gone all weekend? I'm going up there. That's right. I forgot. Oh, yeah. And my flight's at like 10 something or 1030 or 11. On Friday? Saturday. Or Sunday. I'm getting so in like, at like one thirty or 2 on Friday. So I'm just going to hang out at the airport until he can get off work. Go adventure around downtown Chicago? No. It's a 90. <laughs> I already looked up Uber. Because that's what I was saying. We had a flight. Um, I was going to do a flight at uh, like 8.30 in the morning or 9. And I was like, well, I'll just go wander around downtown for like a few hours. I was like, I can find stuff to do. I'll make friends, places. And uh, it was like $90 for me to Uber there. Heck no. And then I would have to Uber. I'd probably Uber out because, I mean, I know he doesn't want to drive getting off of work drive, trying to drive downtown. And then right back out. So I was like, nah, that's way too much. True. Call in sick to work. <laughs> oh, dang. I didn't realize my screen was that bright. Let's try this now. I want a tan light. Why don't I get a tan light? I don't know, but I'm loving this light. I'm a firm believer. I'm just going to carry it around with me at <laughs> 18 inches away from my face at all times. <laughs> She's like, look at me. Look at me. Oh, look at this beautiful face. Look at this color skin. Until I do something like that and the color goes away. <laughs> and I go like that and it comes back. I don't know why your camera is focusing that way, but the white balance I don't know, is way off. I like it 100% until I go, oh my goodness. Uh, no, it's holding it. Hey, maybe it's the I green. Guess maybe it's the green from your headphones that's throwing it off maybe that's a f I don't know yeah it's like the, it's like affecting the white balance <laughs> <laughs> of your of your camera do those glow they glow inside oh they do yeah no, so that green isn't glowing that's there no this is actually green I can't hear you hello hello yeah, we can hear you. It's actual green. It's, it's actual oh. green. Now, uh, I guess we're playing volleyball. No, man, it's not the green. Are you going to play volleyball with, uh... Yeah, With maybe. everyone he plays with? Do you, yeah. Are you good at volleyball? I used to be. So we'll see. I want you show them up. I won. I won a tournament back in the day, a same volleyball tournament, and then, but it's probably been like three or four years since I played. And they play pretty so, often, don't they? Yeah. Every Wednesday. <laughs> like every, every Friday. Every Friday. But it, if I don't play, because apparently like a bunch of people backed out for this week. It's a tiki bar, so he said. So, I was like, I can, I'll can, i make friends. I'll get, I'll have a drink or six. I think he'd be better friends with his team than Bethan's friends with his team. Yeah, probably. Is he quiet for you? A little bit. Yeah. Try moving the, either the volume the or up. move the mic up. Yes. Hello, hello. That sounds louder. Yeah. Yeah. I think it, the mic keeps dropping below your chin. Well, it's also my settings on this head 
will dictate how far or how quiet it will go. What the gain oh. is on the mic. Yeah. Interesting. But, and then we'll see what I do on Saturday. Then Sunday, I get to watch the Bengals beat the Bears. Unless Fields comes out, then I don't know. Fields can come out slanging. Who's um? Uh, I lost last week, so who's who's playing who this week? I'm actually playing Method this week. Um. Well, you're gonna lose next week or this coming week too, because you're playing onesie. Yeah, I'm gonna lose. And you were in fifth place, by the way, to make yourself feel better. Um, I am playing Ryan. Ryan. Kel- the I girls were it. playing each other, and then Rocky and Method. So yeah. there's a lot of good games, and then there's Marvel's game. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's actually Rocky. You're projected to get beat pretty bad, but nine points. Know. I mean, compared to everybody else, like the girls are three points. Me and Ryan are one point four. Marbles, you're twelve points off. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. I could probably cut this down to like four points if I put in actual point projections, but I don't like those actual yeah. games. But uh, I don't think Kyle Murray is going to go off like he did last week. Uh, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to swap players on my. Oh, I think I hit. Back. Oh, it's that side. That's right. You have to hit the circle, not the player. I don't, I don't yes. know why. But okay. Because it pulls all all availability up. Um. All right. Uh. Should I leave Q in there or put? Yes. Okay. <laughs> After that performance from I would last swap. Week. Oh. It's, it's, it's a, that's a toss up on your defenses. Who has two defenses? Marbles. He has two <laughs> kickers. <laughs> hey. Two tight ends. The uh which has just swapped them right now. Why you have a running back that's on IR is beyond me. <laughs> I don't know. Why don't you put him in the IR slot? That way you can pick somebody else up. Okay. Yeah. Who- uh, well, tomorrow at work, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go through Marvel's team and tell him who needs to pick up on the waiver wire. You know who I'm interested in? Nah, I'm not going to say it. That. Well, I mean, I would think about Christian Kirk as one. Jaywan Johnson is who you need to be interested in. Who'd you say? Jaywan Johnson. That's somebody I was going to say too. Because he's a filler yep. tight end wide receiver. Yep. Yep. I just don't have anybody I can drop to get him. Yeah, Rocky can give me a whole list rundown tomorrow. Jaywan Johnson or Christian Kirk? I don't know about Kirk. Okay. Marbles needs to drop Sean Jackson. I don't like anyone on your bench. A lot of them were picked by the uh, auto draft. <laughs> That's why I have two defenses and two kickers. You should and drop think, Russell Wilson. Yeah. 
You should drop Matthew Stafford. Uh, Eckler. You probably drop him. Um, that Amari Cooper doesn't. A Cooper, DB Cooper sounds like a evil person. <laughs> Reminds me of the joke that DB Cooper survived the plane crash and started imdb.com. <laughs> the uh, um, yeah, I mean. They think that he survived, don't they? But like died somewhere he in the wilderness. He survived. They just think that he died in the wilderness because that money was never. That money was the money found. Was found. It was found, but I mean, like it wasn't. It wasn't like spent or used anywhere. It was just like found in on in the river and. They found random pieces of it, but they still haven't found the whole amount. No, so they think that like he survived it. But then lost some tried of the money, tried to bury it or something, and then like died out in the wilderness somewhere. He survived. The guys who escaped Alcatraz survived. <clears throat> yeah, they might have survived. Did they find one of them or evidence of one of them like 40 years one, later? One dude actually wrote the FBI and said, hey, I am one of these guys. Here's what happened that night. They never authenticated it. But, well, like, he ended up dying. It was like one of those like deathbed things, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Deathbed confession. Yeah, so they couldn't like verify if he was right or not, but he had details that they suspect oh, it was him. Somebody, yeah. Um, so I went down the rabbit hole of uh, conspiracy theories that you believe are true on Reddit. Because it pops up like every two weeks. And there's some, some good ones in there's some good ones, and there's some that are just, like, bizarre. They're, like, too... There's conspiracy theories that are just way too complicated. Um, like, Tupac is alive. Yeah. They, people would talk about, like, oh, you know, the whole... Um, Michael Jackson's alive. Yeah, or uh, Hitler was alive, or um, Hitler like was Elvis alive. was alive. But, well, I mean, like, Hitler didn't die in the bunker. And I'm thinking, well, it's 75 years since then. I'm pretty sure he's dead, no matter what. Yeah, he's dead by now. The but... dude was he made his, it to Argentina, The dude bro. was in his 50s at the end of the war. You never know. Um, Butch Cassidy and Sundance survived. Regardless of what Robert Redford died in that movie. Billy the Kid survived. Never shot in the back. Yeah. There's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of wacky... Consp- there's a lot of, like, really benign conspiracy theories that just... Okay, if you want to believe that, sure. It doesn't really affect anything. And then there's some that are just plain out, like, they don't make any sense. But there's a lot of people that just try to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. Norm McDonald's not dead. I will not like the story of my life. <laughs> um since it was like that the whole nine eleven anniversary, there's, you know, a bunch of like uh footage on like T V and I watched like a documentary. Um because there's like some footage on there that I don't remember like I don't remember seeing, but I guess it was you know filmed at the time. A lot of like footage of people on the ground who were like filming other things that just happened to be like right underneath and look up kind of deal. Um, but I I remember there's a guy, a guy at one of my old jobs who was like convinced that uh the towers were brought down by the government through like explosives in the base of the towers. And I was thinking of that while watching the documentary, and I'm like, you clearly see the top of the building collapse on itself. Yeah. Like, it did not it did not blow up from the bottom down. It literally fell from the top. And I'm like, how do people how do people still think that like oh no it's a they planted C4 around the base of the building. Uh, see, I like I I believe something like that, but not completely. I don't think it was based at the bottom. 
Because, I mean, if you actually do do the studies on, like, see the studies on it and stuff like that, um, like, those steel beams that are holding that building up, like, it takes, I forget what it is, but, like, some crazy amount of, like, heat to melt them. Yeah, but it doesn't and need to that, melt them. It just needs to get soft enough for it to collapse. It doesn't need to melt. It just got to get soft. Just a little bit. I mean, that's a lot of weight that it's holding up. So, and when you watch the footage of the planes blasting through the building and, like, blowing out the backside, it, like, clears out a good chunk of the middle of the building. And all it takes is for the steel to get a little bit soft, and that's it. But nobody can account for that mysterious building, like, six blocks over, that just magically leveled itself. No, that I... That controlled explosion. I, I heard... I. I read up on what caused that, and there was people that were there, that were in that building. It was like Building 7 or something. It was in the same complex, and they said that the roof was on fire the whole time. From the debris from the towers, the, no. roof, the roof was on fire. And that eventually the, roof, the building just burned the down. <laughs> it didn't collapse, it just burned down. And the Pentagon no, no magically one, no one, had no a one bomb put it on, No one put it out. No, the building collapsed. It, it flat out collapsed. Like, it col- it was a controlled collapse. See, from what I heard, it, it was just, it. the roof caught on fire, and yeah, it collapsed, it, but it's because the if building If it collapsed, out. it would have done damage to the other buildings around it if it was like a... It, like, did a control thing. Well, yeah. All those buildings were damaged. Like, all of those no. buildings there were damaged. And only one the of them magically down. just flattened itself like a pancake. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but did you see what it looked like when those buildings came down? And then the department in the Pentagon that had three point something trillion dollars missing magically had a bomb go off in it, and they said, "Oh, it was a plane crash." I don't believe that one either. You're that, telling me that I seen the nope. footage of the plane hitting it, and yeah, it's it's a plane. Nope. <laughs> it's a plane going nope, into cause... the side of that building. Because when they show the pictures afterwards, there's no residue of a plane whatsoever. Well, because it was traveling like 600 miles an hour. It just disintegrates. Yep. It's it's aluminum. Yep. Sorry, Marbles. Yeah, it's, no, no. it's aluminum full of fuel. It's going to just disintegrate. It's the same thing no. when the plane hit the towers. It, it disintegrates. There's nothing left. Did, or, did you see the, the crater from the plane when it hit, landed in that field? Again, yeah. it just disintegrates. There's like nothing left. I remember bits, when a plane but... crashed in the Alps in Chile, and it did not disintegrate. It mostly... 25 people made it alive. It mostly disintegrated, and it tobogganed down the mountain. That's why. <laughs> <clears throat> and then they, they ate survived. each other. So what about this bombing? I forgot to look this up. This bombing that happened the other day. Do you guys hear about that? No. No. There was a bombing the other day somewhere. Where? I don't know. There was that guy that was putting grenades inside the like a locker in a mall today, and a couple days ago there was a guy in D.C. outside the the Democratic headquarters in D.C. that had like a bunch of knives in his car that they arrested. Uh, thank you, NSA, for listening to the conversation today. We enjoy the uh, fellow audience. Try to invest. Hey, let, let they, they can they can come and set the record <laughs> straight on a bunch of stuff if they want. While yeah. you guys are here, can you make our screens flash twice just in case? <laughs> now, nah, see, now they're just laughing. They're probably taking bets on how long we're gonna believe that they're there. Oh, they're there. I know. Oh, that, that was another thing in that documentary. It was the, uh, um. After they, after the attacks, they had, um, they started that program of, like, spying on people. The Patriot Act? Yeah. But it was, like, a the specific program name. I forgot what it was. And, um, they, <laughs> it, I remember reading an article years ago that, um, there's, like, big buildings in out in like nevada and out in the desert yeah uh, they're called they, hotels well nevada. where they where they store like all that data and i'm thinking okay 
sure, like they can spy on everyone's calls and and internet traffic and whatever. And they had deals with like Verizon and AT and T on getting records, call records from people. Um, but I'm like, there's not enough employees to like sift through all of it. But they don't need employees. Like, they have the computer database to do it. Well, yeah, but all they can look for is like keywords and stuff. That's all you need. But then, but then someone needs to go and verify that the computer actually, re- you know, picked out the correct things and not garbage. Um, That's fine. So That's you have a computer, double check a computer and double check a computer. <laughs> Um, but the government's not that smart. <laughs> really? I just, I just think, I just think it's funny though that they, um, that they collected all this data, and I'm like, they, there's no way that they actually got enough useful stuff out of there. Oh, they Com- did. Compared to the amount that they collected, I feel like they got mountains but... and mountains of data, oh. and probably only got a handful of actual leads on things. They got blackmail on the people they needed to blackmail to do their dirty work. Yeah, but you that's, that's the different. government has your house like 3 d They know everything about your house. Yeah, but that doesn't provide any home. value to them. You know what they don't know? If they have, they don't know what this lighting filter is. It gives me an amazing tan. They don't know about that. What I mean is, like, they they got there's no there's no value to having that knowledge. They can have it. They probably do have it, but there's nothing that they're like they're not actively getting anything out of it by just having oh, yeah. it for the sake of having it. Yeah, they are because one day you're gonna mess up. Yeah. Up driving drunk, and then they're gonna say, "Hey, remember this conversation you had in 2006? Well, guess what? We're charging you with terrorism. You just blew up this casino." You know, I like, mean, what? yeah, and but... then you're watching the news. <laughs> they would. They would already be doing that. People aren't getting charged for crimes like that. Not yet. Because you haven't done it. Nah, I think they're too incompetent to actually f- follow through with a plan like that. Should it's the same I like they... Think, it's the same. I don't think you think enough of the government to think that. Like, they're a lot smarter than you think. No, they are. But they're also a big lumbering machine with a lot no. of people. No. And you can't get that many people to all agree on something and actually because do something all the people to in order. You just need the yeah, you... key people. Yeah. No, yeah, you uh, only a few people, a small team can get things done, but in total for what the government manages, they're not that smart. It's a magician a act. The more people you have involved, the easier it is for plausible deniability because you say, "Ask this person right here who works for us." And they're like, "I don't know nothing." Meanwhile, Bigfoot and Chupacabra are having dinner down in Roswell, New Mexico. Yeah, but all those kids could have found them and they let them loose and they didn't. Let's be honest, kids didn't get very far. They didn't They didn't rush the, the fences like they said they were. They could have freed them and they didn't. Nah. That, I, is this like, bright? What? <laughs> yeah, that is kind of bright. Uh... That just washed out your camera. <laughs> like That didn't do anything. It didn't do anything for us. Your camera just got bright. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Um, no, I was thinking of the conspiracy theory of like, oh, we didn't actually go to the moon. It's like, well, then how did you convince all of the people from all those companies to lie that they went to the moon? You don't. You just have, like... Well, I mean, you heard, did you hear, like, one of uh, Neil Armstrong's, not Neil, was Buzz it? Aldrin? Yeah, Buzz, his Neil's final the interview. One who, Neil's the one who went into, like, complete shutdown mode when he came back. <clears throat> yeah, but they always said that he always kind of was a quieter of the group to begin I mean, with. That's because he talked to an alien. <laughs> Buzz was the first person to pee on the moon. Never mm. heard that story. No, I haven't heard that either. He he. How do you in, in how do you compromise your suit to pee? No, that's they all wore diapers, and he says what they did was it took so long to get in the suit that by the time he got in and climbed out, he had to pee, so he just peed. He's like, I'm the first person to pee on the moon. 
Yeah, I don't he's believe that. Plenty of times that he's when people are like, "What's it like on the moon?" He's like, "I don't know. I wish I knew." Yeah, he also punched that guy who said he never been there. He also told somebody a dumb joke about the moon, and they didn't laugh. And he's like, oh, "I guess you had to be there for it to be funny." <laughs> <laughs> They say he was obsessed with, like, orbits and stuff. Orbits is a great gum. You leave them out of this. Actually, it wasn't... Well, yes, it was orbits, but it was specifically, like, rendezvous. He liked rendezvous, and the math for that, for some reason. Math is good. Is he older or as old as Betty White? No, Betty White's well, the oldest. Because I just thought, like... She... He's still alive. Betty White's still alive. Yeah. Are they the same age or is she older? She's older. She's 99, right? Yep. And she's single, so I should hit her up. I mean, she's probably got money now, right? <laughs> 90... <Now? laughs> 99. She was born in 1922. So in January, she's going to be a full 100. I mean, yeah. cra- that's so so crazy to think about, like the life she's lived through. In the twenties, going through the whole depression, being born in the depression, <laughs> living through the depression, coming out of the depression into a World War Two. Uh. And you figure she probably has family that still did the horse and buggy because. It wasn't that much of a transition between the yeah. Why don't you just join the conversation? Probably before before. Oh yeah. yeah, let's get Kelly's viewpoint on conspiracy theories. She's probably got some good ones. Oh, Dean, no. Dean could go. I'm Dean could go serious. to her. She was born in Oak Park, Illinois. So if you're gonna if you're gonna be up there, you can oh. go to her. Her hometown it is That's a weird. It is a tiny rectangular <laughs> city. Damn. Oh, it's just west of Chicago. Where method is around. It's just like it's just like That's a rectangular city. Is he south? I thought he was south. west. Oh. Um, he's not in the room. So do you think? So do you think Betty White? killed Norm MacDonald to absorb his soul to stay alive longer? She's just like killing com- comedians and stuff over the years? No, she's just... She's part of the Baby Foreskin group. <laughs> baby for What? <laughs> Are they the ones you that drink the blood that? too, or no? <laughs> the Baby Foreskin yeah. group. <laughs> oh, what was it? That was like a year ago. That's what, uh... Nope. Ellen DeGeneres came out and talked about it a few times. What, cheat your owns? I don't know what that is. I mean, looks like but fried pork skin. Fried it, pork rounds, which looks like deep fried pork skin. Yeah, it's just fried uh, there's pork like skin. A, in China, or not China, maybe China. So oh, the story's oh. getting wild already if it's got Ellen DeGeneres in China in the same <laughs> sentence. <laughs> there's, well, well, there's like on that list practice. again. There's an old practice where uh, they would take like baby foreskin and drape it over your face to tighten up your skin. What? Yeah. I I could understand people like maybe consuming them or something because people eat a lot of weird weird shit uh, for weird reasons. But I don't see how draping draping over draping. little little bits of skin is gonna do anything. No. To fix your skin. Doesn't make any sense. You know what makes more sense? Jesus fighting zombies. Yeah. In Fist of Jesus. <laughs> HQ. No, it's Fist of Jesus. Because the clip you sent me was in Spanish. <laughs> no, it wasn't even Spanish. That's the best part. If you listen to it, it's like part Spanish. Like they have Spanish words. So I don't know if it's Portuguese, Italian, or Spanish, but it is not 100% Spanish. If it's not Spanish, it could be Portuguese. 
Because I was thinking either Portuguese or Italian. That sounds the closest. Italian does sound different than like Spanish, but the piece I heard him talking, it sounded like Spanish, so it could have been Portuguese. Oh. Did you watch it? The fifteen minutes. Uh, no, I just watched the clip okay. of where he was healing people. Okay, that so wasn't you have to watch. Minutes, though. No, watch the other one that I sent you. And he didn't want to touch this... the leper, so he's like, ah, I just rub this, rub this stuff on you, <laughs> on you every day. Rub bay leaves on. Was it bay leaves or basil? I don't know. <laughs> rub basil on you every day. <laughs> so you have to watch the second one where it's like Jesus with a fist. Okay. Because I thought remember that was just Ginger like a Dead cover. Man. No. Remember when we went through the Netflix like horror scene category and tried to watch the worst movies rated? I, yeah, I think so. We were doing it with B and C. Probably. Oh. I don't remember what we it, watched. It was part of the it was part of the early Netflix days when Netflix didn't really have anything good. So yeah. there was always B rated and C rated movies and we yeah. just try to pick the worst one. Yeah, that's right. I remember we watched was it Piranha? Piranha, there was the Ginger Dead Man. I don't remember that one. I remember going through <laughs> the... trying to find the worst movies you could find, but I was also pretty drunk by then usually, <laughs> so I don't exactly remember what we watched. The gingerbread man who turned evil and then went back in time to the 70s and started a roller skate. <laughs> the leprechaun, it was it was uh, interesting to say the least, but um, yeah, it's, it's over the top to where Jesus is fighting normal zombies he's fighting the roman legion which turned to zombies and somehow there's cowboy zombies involved i don't know how they got there and they have revolvers i don't know and so as luck would turn out jesus turns to his only hope judas iscariot for help <laughs> they get cornered and judas pulls out a weapon for jesus what is this weapon, you ask? I'm glad you asked that question. Because he pulls out a fish from his shirt. He just reaches in and pulls out a fish. And the zombies laugh at him because he's only got one fish. And Jesus but it's Jesus. Fish. He makes it two fish and he throws them. <laughs> and then they, sh they blow up the fish in midair with the revolver. And the fish okay. explode, take out a couple zombies. And you turn around. Jesus has four fish now because that's what Jesus does. He's doing and his he's fish. throwing them like ninja stars. And then Judas comes running into the scene and stabs somebody with a swordfish. And then Jesus rips the swordfish out and has a fish spine sword as he's attacking zombies. Okay. It is golden. <laughs> it is golden. Uh, I will have to get back to that one later. Okay, this this is what weird. What exactly is the baby? Well, yes and no. The serum that Kate Beckinsale, Sandra Bullock, and then it cuts off. Are, are, does foreskin have stem cells in it? I don't know. I don't think I don't think it does. Plus, putting putting <laughs> stem hey. cells on your skin hey. is not going to do anything. Like I was going to say something, but I, mean, I want to try and keep it uh, PG thirteen rated, so when uh, we don't get flagged, because uh... I like how they call it cloned too. Interesting. That doesn't make any scientific sense of how that would work it can't be worse than victoria beckham's nightingale poo facial yeah i saw that one i yeah it's, I... it's not how any of that works it's... that is a conspiracy theory i've never even heard of but now i gotta go into the rat rabbit hole now it's, <laughs> that was, there, it's it was like a big thing like two years a year or two years ago no never heard of it i mean oh, i you're... i've never heard of that specifically but that's again that's not how any of that works um 
Sorry, Apple. China. I guess it was Korean. It was, it was a Korean that made that up, not not China. Not China. <laughs> they got a pass on this one. Yeah, I'm like, okay, putting stem cells oh. on your face. I'm like, that's not how stem cells work. <laughs> uh, putting it on your skin's not gonna not gonna do anything. Well, that one. See, like I've seen, and I was trying to find it, but oh, when there was people that actually took like facial? it looked like actual skin, and they draped it on them. I mean that that sounds even worse. That sounds yeah, worse. Sounds like they, also, they doesn't so did. it doesn't seem like that would do putting it on your face wouldn't do anything. It just but how do you make that into a mask? Because putting you're it on your face, you're absorbing the life, the life force of the skin you stole. <laughs> it would have to be fresh too, because if it's old, it's just gonna dry up like leather. Well, None of this makes sense. If you don't cure it, it's not even going to dry up like leather. <laughs> it's it's going to be like... Dead I mean, like, no. I mean not, like, not to mention, like, okay, so you factor in how much of that, like... That's not a lot of skin. <laughs> I, it's a very small amount of there's skin. There's a lot of questions here. Uh, so now I've got to go to my work computer and Google... <laughs> Foreskin facials, because <laughs> well, okay. God only knows what else I have on that computer. It's the same. It's the same. Like I think I sent Rocky that article a long time ago of that woman that uh, drinks her neighbor's like semen every day. The protein shake. Lady. As like she puts it in her like smoothie because it somehow gives her protein and stuff. And I'm actually, like, that's something. I'm like, yeah, there's, there's a, but there's like such a small amount of protein in there. Like, you, you, you're better off like getting it from another source. It's not really gonna like make you health. It doesn't make you healthier. Like eating, it's not gonna make you healthier. They're just, they're just cells. That Kelly, have you ever had a facial? Um, Kelly. So our titles gonna be think, beauty techniques. I think, I think <laughs> pearl necklaces are are more fancy. <laughs> Kelly. Yeah. Are you gonna answer the question? I don't. Have I ever had a facial? Yeah. What kind of facial? Baby force <laughs> facial, obviously. <laughs> We're asking the the hard hitting questions. The baby foreskin facial. Have you ever heard? Had a pearl necklace. I feel like this has a different meaning than what you're saying. It's Have you ever had necklace. a nightingale poo facial? <laughs> Look up pearl necklace. Do I have to like turn my child lock off? She she's not uh, she's not gonna know that, but she'll know the Italian necktie because she's part of the mafia. Kelly, how many Italian neckties have you given out? Is See? How did I know she knew that one? And then you pull their tongue out through the cut. Ew. But she knows that one. Go figure. Uh-huh. <laughs> Think. Blink twice if you're in trouble. Wait. He just take your head off first. He's just going to keep his eyes closed. <laughs> 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 that was a given. We all saw that one coming a mile away. Here we go. Here we go. This this is kind of as what I was thinking about. Uh oh. God only knows what's about to get sent right now. Show your squirt screen. No. Oh. I'm gonna do that. Apparently, she claims it's. Uh, it's boosting the immune system. I'm like, I don't think there's that. I don't think that's in part of the immune system. I'm glad he brainwashed her into thinking that. 
Props I know, right? <laughs> there's there's even a picture of her like taking it straight from the spoon. I'm like, that's oof. okay. Uh, yeah, she claims she hasn't had the flu or a cold for three years because of that. Guarantee she said a few other things, but uh, anyways. She takes three shots a week. Donations from her boyfriend. She's a personal trainer. It's it's a free and vegan friendly alternative. <laughs> Is it considered vegan? Because people I don't know. are it's mammals, the... right? You're taking something from a from an animal. I don't think it's she vegan. She says it changes, or she can tell what he eats if she just eats that plain. Yeah. That's yeah. talent right there. She's like Gordon I don't, I don't know. Field. I honestly don't know if that that's talent, but I like how it's she's a vegan who roped her single pal into giving her his semen. I don't think she had a rope in a meant to anything. But then <laughs> I don't think that now was that it's hard. her boyfriend. So the story doesn't yeah, this, add up. This other well, this other article this article from twenty twenty says is her boyfriend. This article I sent you was from 2021. So maybe she got, a, she doesn't have that boyfriend and got another guy. I don't know. And then she still drinks the old guys. Uh, anyway, things like pineapple and peppermint make it taste better, but I'll happily take it straight off a spoon. Usually. I was oh. getting at what time it was, but okay. Then I realized. You don't have to ask because it's legitimately right here. <laughs> yeah. That's what... You just have to add a Roman numeral to it. And you have to read it backwards. Yep. No. Oh, for me, it's backwards. Was... <laughs> you have that to turn. Ten, not two. You have to turn the mirror off for yourself, I, I think. I that. Then it would look right. No, I would have to turn mirror on. Because right, well, right now it's sitting the same way my room is. So I got my blinds right here and my bookshelf right here. Then why would it be back with the clock be backwards? It shouldn't be backwards for us, right? Actually, no, it's not. not. For you it's guys, not. for me. Oh, okay. For me, it is. For us, it's not for me, backwards. Yeah, for me, it shows that it would be 2 o'clock. Yeah, for us, it says 10. Uh, uh, what else? Good times. Wild night. Conspiracy theories and big hands. I had something else and I articles. forgot now. You're secretly going to Chicago this weekend? Ooh. I wish. That'd you be really speak. fun. That'd be really fun. I could just get completely shit faced and make method uh carry me around. And you can actually meet Amy for once. I don't know why you're not coming, Marbles. No, you can't come. <laughs> See? Because <laughs> of certain reasons. Because he'd come up with some obscure facts and he'd be like, where the hell did you find this guy? Yeah. No. Start... I would say something like, the average time it takes for a mammal to pee is 21 seconds, regardless of the size. Like, how did you know that? <laughs> and then you're gonna run off and marry Amy. It's weird. Yeah. Digging this light, though. You're gonna have to hope that it does that next time. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do foundation makeup and just do this all the time. Yeah, but you're going to have to do a better job of blending it into your neck, or else you're just going to have a line. That's uh, fine. I just need to do my face. 
I don't think people look at it anyways. Do the fake bake. Yes, no marbles. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're right about that. Damn it. That's why I had to uh, correct something earlier today because I sent that message and I was like, I need to clarify because somebody's going to take that out of context. What? Norm, Norm McDonald is my, one of my old-time favorite comedians. Not everyone knows his character is Turd Ferguson. Oh, yeah. Well, we... I knew who that was. I didn't know who we, the actor is, though. We brought that up... Um, when I made the Discord, because that's what I used as the original, the original photo for the, um, for the, uh, for the room, it was Turd Ferguson. What is Rocky posting? It's funny. <laughs> what am I posting? I haven't posted in a while. <laughs> Turd Ferguson. It's a funny name. What's the to- Turd Ferguson? On the group chat. No, on Instagram. That was yesterday. Oh. There we go. I just got a notification. High five, marbles. I don't know what that was. I had to fix my focus. You put your hand in front of it, and then when you take it away, the camera has to refocus. It's a good tip. It's a little, uh, little tip. Tip for today. The things that we learn... I'm I'm full of learnings. Learnings and earnings and burnings. Oh, did did I tell you guys that's that's a story. Um when I got my blood work done on Friday the you have Neanderthal uh Neanderthal DNA? The what? You have Neanderthal DNA? Well that I already knew. Um But the the girl the girl who took who took my blood, she had to take two vials. And then, you know, the giant, uh, yeah, that was it. Hmm. And, um, she, when she pulled the needle and the little, like, plug thing that the vials go into, when she pulled that out to put the, like, the gauze on the spot, it slipped out of her hands and she dropped the needle and it bounced off of her shoe and then stuck itself in her pant leg. <laughs> <laughs> So she it. <laughs> it was it was down by her ankle, like in the loose pant leg. So it was just Awkward. it was just like hanging and kind of like dangling there. And she like froze, and then she bent down and, and took it out. And I guess it didn't it didn't stab her, um, but she freaked she freaked out. <laughs> and I told her, "Don't worry, I don't I don't have anything." Because her her first concern was like whether or not she now has AIDS. <laughs> and I'm like, no, uh, I don't, I don't have AIDS or HIV. So, uh, but she's like, do you, do you put lotion on your arm? I'm like, no, I, I don't. Uh, and she's like, that's never happened before. Wow, you made her all shiny, and shimmery, and so distracted. Yep, and she almost stabbed herself. Oh, if I get blood, they take like. Six vials or seven vials at a time. That's because the VA loses half of them. So they just go ahead. They take them all. Yeah. And then they mistest them for all the wrong stuff anyways. And then that's why they need extra. But I'm I'm clean. I have no diseases. That you know of. Yeah. They just haven't tested for them yet. Yeah. Yeah. So. I only had to do like one test. That's why they didn't take very much. No, the worst is like the other day I was at an appointment and I had to pee real bad. And I was like, sorry, man. I like, I'm ending this short. Like I'm literally about to pee my pants. And I went pee forgetting that I had to do blood work. And I also give urine every time too. And I was like, well, I'll come back another day for that. <laughs> I, was like, it, I was like, I just literally just drained everything. And they were like, all right. I mean, they could have gave you a cup, like, before you went to go pee. Like, here. Since no, I, for, like, I was at an appointment. Oh, okay. Forgot I had to get blood and urine. 
Oh, uh, okay. I thought you were there. I got out of the appointment and went to the bathroom real quick. And then went to get blood on Scott. Like, oh, shoot. Yeah, I had to do that last time. And I hate doing that because I never know if I'm actually going to need to pee <laughs> when I'm there. Always need to pee. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, I don't have to go. And they're like, all right, just try to fill this line. We had a wild range of topics tonight. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be a hard time. Well, good luck. Yeah, coming up with a title is going to be fun. And beauty secrets? Conspiracy <laughs> theories? Foreign beauty secrets. <laughs> or why is Rocky so tan? Um... Nobody knows. That Who's might fashion? that actually that might be the title. Why is Rocky so tan? And then we're gonna talk about baby foreskins. <laughs> uh, I'll let I'll let the viewers figure that one out. Surprise! No. Why is Rocky <laughs> so tan? Tried new methods. Speaking of methods. We need to ask him about it tomorrow. That's if he gets on. I think he will, though. He will. You have to start with that. So how do He's you feel played, about what, Force Confession? Two nights and two weeks? Do what? He's only played, what, two nights and two weeks? He'll get on tomorrow. Yeah. Can't use me an excuse, because she'll be like, well, you're going to see him in a, in a day, so... But he's not going to see me, so I'm the crutch that keeps this together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was just... jail three card. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Last time last time I hung out with Method, he didn't like hanging out with me. Because I literally kept making him drink over and over. <laughs> I thought it was fun. Does Amy That's still like you? you? There's always yeah, a secondary does, game. Marbles, did I tell you about that? No, I, I, you mentioned last time something like she was mad at you for something, but you didn't get into like why. I don't remember. But so we, when we were at the beach, like uh, we went down to the beach at like nine thirty in the morning or ten, usually every day they were there, and. Um, We'd be sitting there and like we brought a cooler down with drinks because we were gonna be there for you know an hour and a half, two hours or so. And you know, as soon as I got down there, like I set up the tank, got all the kids situated. And I'm like, Kelly, go ask him, go ask him if he wants a drink. Who wants a drink? What? Go <laughs> to bed. I'm really I'm tired. I woke up at six this morning. And uh Kelly went and asked him, and he was getting ready to say no. And then he looked around, and he sees my little, just my eyes peering over his head, <laughs> staring at him. And he's like, damn it, no. But yes, I'll have one, I guess. <laughs> he was like, I don't want to have a drink. I was like, you don't have to drink. He's like, are you drinking? Like, yeah. <sighs> of course you're and drinking. I guess I'll have one, too. Peer pressure at its finest. Yeah. It, but see, it pays off when you out drink the person who's peer pressuring you. <laughs> like me and Rocky. When Rocky tries to get me to drink more, and I just drink more and more. And I just give up, and, and I then just Rocky, keep giving him all the. And alcohol. then Rocky's like, "I don't want any more. I'm, I don't feel good." And then I'm like, "I'm still going." <laughs> you shouldn't have peer pressured should... me. And then we turn around and Marvel's in the bathroom trying to throw up with oh. his hand down his throat because he doesn't have a gag reflex. And he's like, ah, this is a bad yeah. idea. I think I'm dying, guys. I'm numb from, I'm numb, like, all my extremities are numb. And you can't, you can't make yourself throw up that when you're numb. That was the greatest Vegas run. At 10.30 in the morning, Marvel's was done. So yeah. Good time. And then I start, we started the next day with, um, Went to the Irish pub and we started with Guinness and like oh, potatoes. 
<laughs> car bombs, Guinness, Car-bombs, and potatoes. Guinness, potatoes at like what eight in the morning? That was rough. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. And then all day in the sun. Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to figure out times when we'll do Vegas. Well, we could do Vegas. I like to go out to see Dink and Kelly and the kids. See you and Rhonda. Party in Cleveland. Chicago would be we'll cool. Talk about that I just got to figure out. We got to figure out podcast. timing for all this. We'll talk about adventures. That way, everyone has something to look forward to. All right, that's it for today. See, ladies you, and gentlemen, buddy. Hasta la bye, bye.